Religious indeed. All right, I'd like to welcome our first guest. He's a professional dating coach, also known as Dr. Date. That's actually Mark's old name in high school. Again, welcome, David Tian, please. Hi, David. Hey, uh, good to be here. Show. Welcome. Now, David, um, our topic today is men and women, can they be friends? We're going to throw it out there. What's your take on this? I think they can be, but it can be tricky, um, especially with uh, when they're there's already a relationship going on sexually, perhaps, then you have friends with benefits and different levels of friends. But I think for platonic male-female friendships, it's really important to have that um, if you're trying to become better with women. No, but you know what, though? I mean, uh, as a heterosexual male, I mean, uh, first of all, you're always going to want to have a female friend who's always attractive. You're going to be attracted to having friends that are attractive. And (laughs) wouldn't there be some underlying sexual tension? I mean, guys are guys. Yeah, well, it does take discipline. And it's one of those things where you just hope that there's enough willpower because, uh, you know, you want to have... And not uh, enough alcohol. So, yeah. I, okay, there's one thing about just having, uh, you know, normal guy friends. What do you do if the girl has a great, like, the best friend is a guy? Yeah, well, I've had that issue, and I, I, I think currently, maybe I could say I have that issue, uh, where it's like a sister and brother relationship because I, I grew up with two sisters and one older, one younger, so I've had both of those sort of dynamics, you know, the, the little bratty little sister and the, the, the doting older sister. And um, one thing that I, I often end up having to reassure the girlfriend that it's like my sister, you know, it's just, and you see, you get kind of used to that, but now, definitely now you, you're reassuring that reassurance. your girlfriend that way, but inside, is that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you accusing they, me of? <laughs> Is what is that what they call them nowadays? Because uh, <laughs> I call sister, them cousins. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but, you're like a cousin. You're to like me. a cousin. And a <laughs> kissing safer. cousin. Kissing yeah, cousin. cousin. <laughs> right, right. I used to introduce my girlfriends as my cousin. Really? Oh, silence. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you, that was my line too. <laughs> Come on. All right, guys. All right, guys. We are having so much fun. There's so much more to talk about on this wonderful topic. Can men and women really be friends? Check us out when we get back. Um, friend of the opposite sex, do you think it's easy for you to persuade your partner that, you know, there's really nothing going on between us? Dr. Date. I found advice. that, yeah, that's, that's, that's a tough one sometimes. It depends on how secure your partner is and with your relationship. And that's often because, you know, you haven't done enough to make her or him, your partner, feel uh, appreciated and uh, secure, right? So that, there are things that you can do, uh, but it's definitely going to be something that you want to think about. Yeah, I think it's important that um, uh, you describe the friendship to your partner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think also on, on the other side, I mean, if you know that you know your partner is a very good friend, don't don't seem so insecure. I mean, also try to get to know that person. What about in the workplace? I mean, okay, um, does it, you know, having like platonic friends, does it kind of mask your judgment in any way? Sally, have you experienced anything like that? Um, no, but I've got really good friends from work and... I always believe that it's a danger to mix pleasure with business. So I'm extra careful when it comes to like workplace stuff like that. Yeah, in the workplace, <laughs> I, I take extra effort to look cold. <laughs> because, yeah. Well, because, yeah, because your work is dating, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I have to make sure that no one is suspects that there's something going on at all. So, I'm, so yeah. basically, don't give off the wrong signal as well. Now, speaking of signals, I mean, you know, guys, you know, especially these two, they're so desperate. You know, every, even, even if a girl flicks See what her head, you know, they're like, oh and my god, she's so into me. You know? oh my Actually, my, my personal experience has been that a lot of guys, especially in Asia, um, have the problem where they're blind to signals. Like a girl will be really interested and they're like, no, they have no confidence. And it's often because a guy is confident that he over re- reads too much into the different Or maybe they're just emotional idiots. That's true, yeah. Dun, like dun, there's dun. a, uh, <laughs> say that a lack of social and emotional intelligence <laughs> Yeah, that they need to develop. He's right. very politically correct. <laughs> okay, speaking of confidence and emotional intelligence, here's a name that needs no introduction. He's everything rolled into one incredible Duke package. Allow me to unveil the secret makings of a Duke. Mm, 
be friends. And I'm really sure that the debate is not going to end here. But one thing's for sure, people, in any male and female relationship, communication is key. But you have to bear in mind that ultimately, guys, you've got to take sex out of your mind first, which is never going to happen anyway. That's why these two need advice from Dr. David Tien. Wait, anyway, that's all for this show. What a fantastic show we had. We had so much fun, right, guys? Uh, with all that sexual tension in the air, I sure hope we kept it professional, right, Eunice? Absolutely. We do, of course, want to thank our wonderful guest, David. Thank you, of course, the better-looking uh, Asian version of Hitch over there. Right? <laughs> and Sally, wonderful, had to have an intelligent woman's opinion on the show for a change. Thank you. All right, guys, we'll be seeing you next week, only here on The Duke.